Greetings and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we are actually on our uh, on our satellite planet. Um, and I think I want to get stuff going now. There are a couple of things. Oh wait, I don't want to do that. Don't fly. No flying. <laughs> I want to go down and get this energetic graphite because we're actually quite short on that, and I don't want to go back home and not have any graphite to take with me. Not good. Okay, so let's just get that going because we really want to upgrade um, our energy right now. Definitely want to do that. We're going to walk. We're going to be slow and walk. And when we get back, we're going to make some of these uh, power poles that I keep forgetting about, but they are actually good for uh, recharging while in the factory. So we're going to get that going. Now, I do want to pick up some, some of the stuff that we've made. Uh, we can also place down some of the stuff we, we don't want to take back with us. I'm going to go ahead and put a box here. This will remind us uh, of stuff that we may want to want to leave here, as in maybe some belts. Let's send the belts here. We'll put in, maybe we'll put a few wind mines in here as well. Uh, we can take some back. We don't need to, and maybe miners are good. What else? Smelters were good. I don't know. Um, we can leave a few things here. It's not necessary to take everything back because the factory is going to make all, all the more of this anyway. And in fact, you know what? I'm going to just keep a lot of this here. Yes. Yes. We'll just dump everything. Dumping everything is fine. We're going to take some solar panels back. We'll take these other items because they are needed by us. Power poles can stay as well. Um, boxes we're having made. The paint. Ooh. Yeah, paint can stay over there too. <laughs> I'm going to bring the spray coater with me. I think that's good. I think we can leave the rest to have two things. We need solar panels. And by the way, we're waiting for us to recharge, which is great. Let's get... Wow, we don't actually have many solar panels. It's rough. All right. Anyway, let's go back and grab all that we can from here. We are getting much silicon and that's pretty exciting. So while we're waiting for this to charge up, we actually can go right now, I think. But one of the things I do want to do is I have wonderful patrons and I thank you every day for uh, being so generous. And one of those benefits is if you pledge $10 or more a month, we have a uh, name in game option. And I don't often get to use that in the games I've been playing. You can't really change the names like uh, Noble Fates. You can't change their names, but I want to do that in Dyson Sphere because I feel like that's really, really important. Now in Dyson Sphere, we have many names that can be named. So we're going to, I'm going to try to name them. Uh, well, I'm going to name them all different and we're going to do, let's see, how do we rename this here? I think it's here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So I'm going to go kind of from the newest patrons to join list because uh, I know I haven't used their names yet. So this star is going to be called Izzy J. Thank you so very much for being my patron. You're awesome. And then the rest of them, I think what I'm going to do is we'll have a prefix. We'll say H for homeworld, maybe. And then this, this one is going to be Pikester. Yes, Pikester, not star. Okay, Pikester. Okay, and then our home planet here. Uh, let's see, we'll say H for home. And then this one, let me just look at my list. All right. This is going to be Sean, Sean. And, and I'm also going to put another thing to help me remember. Uh, we're going to do science on Sean. That sounds really strange. Sorry about that. <laughs> so it did actually name all of these others Izzy, uh, but we're going to, we're just going to name them all differently because I feel like I want to use more people's names. So this one is going to be cat Bloomfield home cat. Bloomfield. Thank you, Kat, for being my patron. Thank you, Sean, for being my patron. And then we have this one as well, which is going to be H, Homeworld. Uh, and this is going to be Corey Gerard. Thank you, Corey, for being my patron. So this is all in our home system. We have Pikester, Izzy J is our star, and then Sean Science, Kat Bloomfield, and then Corey Gerard. So Corey Gerard actually is going to be also, we're going to call this one Silicon because that's our primary thing here. And we can rename Pikester, I think, because we're going to get titanium on Pikester. 
So titanium. This is going to be a lot easier for us to read in the statistics screen where we're like, okay, where are we getting what from? Uh, so th I think that'll help us. So cat actually is going to be our hydrogen planet as well. Hydrogen. There we go. Okay, good. Now this is great. So I'm going to click on our, on Sean. <laughs> I'm going to click on Sean. Sean, if any of these descriptions bother you, let me know and we'll try to figure out a different name for a planet for you. This is hilarious. Okay, we got the milestone of naming a planet. Let's go. Wait, did we did we fill up on everything? Yeah, I think we got everything. Mostly. Anyway, it's it's good enough. Go whoa. Okay. Okay, sorry, those were the sounds of escaping gravity. <laughs> okay, let's go this way for a tiny bit. I'm gonna speed up. But remember, speeding up with this low of an energy level, uh, because of lack of technology is very yeah. Uses so much energy. Okay, so here we are. We're coming back to Sean the Science Planet. <laughs> I'm finding this really funny. <laughs> this is actually perfect zo land. Oh, God. Okay, so let's look. I think this is north up here. If I'm, I might be correct. We'll see. Uh, if we click this and press N. Okay, we're slightly off here. That's where we need to be. Where is our stuff? Kind of like, oh, yeah, this is exactly where I thought we were. Good. We have all these crude oil seeps on this side, and it's right next to our oil factory. So this is a perfect place to be. And this is where I wanted to be because we want to, uh, well, I mean, I'm going to have to come back because I don't have any materials, uh, like belts and stuff. But otherwise, we can, in fact, do, um, do some stuff up here and increase our oil output and to make sure that we have enough stuff for the rest of everything. All right, so this is exciting. Go to the mall, let's go shop. Uh, we also need to put in, into a box, stuff. One thing I wanna make, I'm gonna make something funny real quick. I'm gonna put in a tiny factory here. This is gonna be our handcrafting factory. Oh geez, I don't have enough stuff. No, help, Ugh. Okay, let's get stuff. Um, that's gonna, let's look at our inventory. We want to put in this uh, silicon somewhere, but we need a box. Okay, let's get some boxes. Good, good. All right. Um, we'll put in this silicon over here, I think, for a tiny bit. Uh, and actually, what we can't... Oh, it's... Yeah, right. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, whatever. Uh, up here, click. Yay. What I'm going to do to this, uh, I might pre-paint it, maybe. Let's see. I wonder if the painter uses charges if something's already painted. That is a question for me. I want to I wanna find that out. Maybe we'll do some experiments here real quick. All right, let's check on uh, inserters because we need some of these. We need some of these. And we need tons of these. Beautiful belts. We love you. Okay, power poles. Yes, splitters. I think I still have. Yep. Good. These. Yes. Good. Miners. Yes. And smelters. Yes. Good. Excellent. All right, that's what we want. What we want. Now then, we have material. We want to make some stuff. But right now, if we handcraft stuff, like if we want to make more painters, we won't get the bonus. And you know, twelve percent bonus is quite a lot. You know, so we're gonna get twelve percent more makers. So what I want to do here is create a thing, and that thing is going to be. Let's make this longer, and then we'll put a painter on here painter yep yarp go and then here we need to put in a second level belt that goes through here so we're going to paint stuff and then put it in another box and then we're going to craft it now i've noticed no this is an important thing the end of this thing this sneaks over to the next tile or it like prevents it because it's just too far so be aware of that as in like if you put this box here and try to connect it here. Oh, it does work there, but it doesn't work over there. Oh gosh, I'm so never mind. I'm so daft. Jeez, um, I thought it was it was preventing that one, but it's actually okay. It kind of looks like it could grab from over there, but it doesn't. So anyway, uh, yeah, things happening. The stuff go go go, and we're gonna delete this and then put in an assembler because that's what we want to do. And we're gonna we'll have some. Oh, it's too close. Yeah, it's too close. I always wonder about that. Doesn't look too close. Dang it. Looks fine. Okay. Um, 
Let's put this one here. Okay, very good. Now here is where we uh, just add stuff to the machine. And this machine is gonna make the stuff that we want it to make. And in this case, we want it to make painters. Now, the items we have for the painters are not made yet. Uh, or not painted yet, we need to make these micro crystalline components. So let's grab ourselves some copper. And I probably, you know what, this probably should be the very first experiment here is chuck all this copper into the box. And then chuck all Oh, no, 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 not yet. Not Oh, I'm so bad. All right, never mind. It's fine. Just we're gonna chill with this. This is gonna be very chill, <laughs> whether we want to or not. <laughs> Oh, the cry is real. Anyway, I, can we put these things over stuff yet? No? Yes? No? No, of course not. No, no, no. No, it doesn't work that way, alas. All right, let's do this a different way. Let's start over here, go to the second level, and then try to go through. There we go. That's what we want. And this is going to give us uh, the spot where we want our splitter to be. So we usually do, that's going to be the middle and I'm going to use just a regular, a two height splitter, this one, that one like that, rotate it and do this. Yes. Okay. Let's delete this a tiny bit. There we go. And this will go on its merry way and the bottom will split out over here. And this is going to send the paint over to our new temporary painting crafting station. This is our, our non handcrafting station. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. No game. Why did you do this? I don't get that. Like why? I don't, I don't, I don't love this. I wish that when you had a belt and you clicked the second level, it would just stay at the level that it's at. Why does it go down? That's so frustrating. Uh, many mistakes, many mistakes there. Okay. So what I want to do here is Let's wait for the paint to arrive and then I'm going to pick up all of this stuff. By the way, I found out that even if stuff is stacked, uh, even did this experiment, he found out that even if stuff is stacked, it remembers which pieces were painted and which not. And that's really cool. I think that's awesome. Okay. So let's wait for the go. Yep. YouTube go button, go sign, put this back in and power this thing. So what I'm going to do first here is let's make those micro crystalline components because, you know, 12 and a half percent more is that much more, you know, it's good stuff. So let's get that. And then let's grab the silicon, which is, oh my God, there's a cat just being naughty over there. I can hear her naughty. Actually, I don't want to have that much silicon because all of this of course is going to be uh, painted as well. And it's going to clog up the other box. I don't want to clog up the box so much, not that much, partly, but not that much. All right, let's put this all in as well. And so what's happening here is this is just a painting device and this is painting all the stuff that hasn't been painted. And mostly it hasn't been painted because we haven't set it up. Remember we were having a lack of painters until we could get more silicon, but now this is painting everything and they will remain painted so that we can use them in other crafts. In fact, I can probably take this uh, into my own inventory. So let's grab this and grab painted. Uh, oh, actually it doesn't matter. It doesn't work because it has to be crafted by the machine. So now we're going to get some of these uh, micro crystalline components and more of them because we're getting the extra products benefit. So this is exciting. We'll be using those to make the, and we're going to do the same process again when we make those uh, thingy majinis. We're going to need these guys as well. Let's paint a few of these. Let's see what else goes into that structure. Also, I want to make a few of these power poles. We need, let's make 12. I think there's 12 for an achievement or something like that. We'll make 20 because I'm too lazy to put this down to one again. Uh, not lazy, but it just feels inefficient and we'll need more. Uh, they're good stuff. So let's see. Also, what else is part of a painter? We have the green chips. We have the uh, steel. Okay. So what I want to do with that also is paint, paint those. Well, the, the problem that we're having here is if I pick these out from the box, these are unpainted. So I need to move these boxes past the painters. That was something that uh, Ava noticed. He was like, Hey, why aren't you, why aren't you grabbing the painted ones? I'm like, I don't know. That's, that's confusing. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not doing that. Why am I not doing that? 
So I want to grab those after they have been painted. I feel like that's a little bit more sensible. Let's see, can I grab this from that corner? I don't know. Yeah, we can. Oh, this is so great. Okay, so we're just gonna, we're gonna just add those motors there, painted motors. And then I'm gonna remove this. Uh, I'm gonna remove the amounts here. We'll maybe have, I think we'll have just one on the top level so that it can be output. So we're not gonna grab from these boxes. Now this is a bit of a problem because I can put a thingy here, you know, and then I could put another one here if I had one more space. So I think what I'm gonna do is this. I'm going to grab the painted greens from there and I'm gonna move these belts over. I think, I think it's worth it potentially Let's see if I do something like, oh, see, here's another instance where I would love for that to keep position. Like, why doesn't it keep? No, 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 don't do that. No, nigh, bad. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Oh, sad times. Huh. <laughs> okay, that doesn't work here, but maybe this here? Yeah, okay. Let's see if we can, no. No. Well, okay, so we can do something different here. I think we're just gonna leave this one as it was. There we go. And then maybe, uh, I wonder how tall these things are. Maybe we just take this upward. Maybe that's a better idea. Um, there we go. I'm just gonna put this down. So we can grab, what is this actually? This is the, these blocks. So there's, uh huh. There's actually nothing that I need from here. I could put the gears in a box, but yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so what do we need to do here? This needs to go up one. Alrighty. And then plus, yeah, there we go. Okay, that's how it was before. Uh, all right, so we're gonna get a few of these. We got that set up, good, good, good. Now here, I'm just gonna reverse, or I'm going to remove the inserter, of course, from the box, and then have this box output. We're just gonna empty this box. We're gonna output on the other side of that sorter. Now we need rings and gears. Now where are we gonna get those from? I think, oh, we can just put them in the middle here. That's a, that's a very, very easy solution, I feel. So let's do that. Let's put, we'll just have a ring and a gear box here. And we'll just grab a few of those off the line. And these are the painted versions, of course. There we go. Okay, fantastic. So rings, let's have four. Gears also, sure, four. Yeah, fine, that's fine. Perfect, all right. And that way uh, we will, okay. Those don't have an outlet, sad times. Let's remove this again and then put these on that line. We have a little bit of a, a leeway thing going on here. Cool. All right, so there they go. Now then the rings, what do we do about the rings? Because rings have gone to here. I think what we do is we just do a tiny belt and then we can remove this box and that'll make it very easy for things to happen. Uh, wait, maybe one more. Okay, there we go. So you go here, rings go out there. Okay, perfect, that's what we want. Um, and then the next thing we can do is, let's check on our, uh, oh wait, we, we need to do belts as well. That is gonna be super important. So, now one of the things is that um, I didn't notice and I read this wrong. I read the word production and I thought it was the productivity, but the productivity thing is actually blue. And I should have paid more, paid more attention. So this structure is entirely unnecessary. I'm going to delete it. And we're just going to go back to, um, let's see. Yeah, this whole thing, this whole crazy combo over here is completely unnecessary because I don't feel like we need production speed up on making inserters. Not really. You know, that's not, no. Okay, we just know. We're just knowing that. Uh, let's pick this up and then we'll just put in our standard kind of assembler for this. We'll put in also one for the inserters as well. I forgot what we need for those, but we'll figure it out. So let's go from here to here. Oh, those are not wind mines. We need to make uh, sorters. There we go. I know that this has been 
very complicated and I apologize for that, but we will figure it out. Okay. So this goes there. We'll have another one there. Okay. Excellent. And then of course we want to limit, oh, we did limit it. Nice. Okay. So let's take all these and we'll put in the rest into the other box. Actually, I should have just deleted that box. It would have been faster. Okay. That's fine. How many do we have? boxes of these things. Okay. Yeah. We'll put one more in there. Good. Now then, uh, these are going to be belts. Now I've completely forgotten what goes into the level two belts. Ah, we need green motors, right? Okay. We don't have any green motors yet. That is something that I would love to fix. These are made of what rings and motors. Oh, beautiful. Um, Hmm. So hmm. we could do a thing here. I know. I feel like we should do that thing elsewhere. We're going to do the thing elsewhere. I think we're going to use motors are going to be on this belt here. So we'll just put them in there and we'll do what a row of belts here, something like that. Okay. And then we need, of course, the other thingies here. Go, go, go. And power poles. All right. Let's put that here. I think that will work nicely. Okay. Beautiful. Now then green motors uh, are a <laughs> subset of the other motors. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. There's a thing we can do here, actually. If we, yeah, let's, let's change this up. So this is a level that high belt. All right. That's interesting. Um, I think I want to try to put in, let's see if we can do this. Can we do a, yeah, we can. Okay. So this is going to be green motors. Now we really need more production of this. This is a little bit kind of crazy what I'm doing right now. Oh, we don't even have green motors. Oh dear. Oh dear. No, no, no. <laughs> Help. What are we, what are we researching? Okay. Crystal smelting. And then we have proliferators and then this is deuterium fractionation and chemical engineering. No, I really would like, oh, I want this actually. I want hydrogen fuel cells first. Let's go for that. And then I want to get this one. These are the green motors that we need for those belts. And then we can do basic chemical engineering and then deuterium fractionation. That's important. Proliferator. Sure. Assemblers. Nah, I don't need that right now. We have, or wait, wait, do we don't have the green assemblers yet? Okay. Let's take those. Yeah. There are no, those are nice. Cause they have a, a, uh, one crafting speed instead of the yellow ones, which we're using or the orange ones. Those have a 0.75 crafting speed and then crystal smelting. Yeah. Let's get all of this stuff. This is all good stuff. Um, but wait, hold on. We have, this is a problem here slightly. Anyway, uh, I will get these motors going again because I feel like that's quite important. We need to get rid of this power pole. And what I'm going to do is put those motors on this line here. I'm going to do this and then we're going to go up three like that. So then we can have uh, uninterrupted motor supply. There we go. And then alternatively, what we're going to do is, well, in addition, we're going to make the green motors here and have them go on their own little belt. And that will be connecting to over here. Yeah. All right. So cool. This is great. This is fun. Now then let's go back and check on our thing. Cause we need more painting done clearly. Uh, let's see how this is functioning. Looks like we have finished all of the items in here. I'm going to go ahead and put in the next items to be painted and stuff. Actually, let's put in the bigger stack there. We'll put in, um, I don't think we need to have, we needed green chips, I think for the other stuff. Let's go shopping a bit and check out what we can do here. So we have, oh, we need steel. That's another thing we need to paint probably. Yeah, let's go over here. Steel. There we go. Let's paint a couple of uh, stacks of steel. And eventually all of this stuff will like be pre-painted, but I feel like this is a nice tiny little factory, a paint factory, basically where we can add stuff, um, to our combinations here. So now this, these also need to be painted. 
So let's add those there as well. Those need to be painted. Uh, and it's kind of a nice little thing and we can just make whatever we want in this little box and it works. So we're gonna make now, we're gonna make painters, yay. And we need quite a few things for this, um, but we are gonna get those bonuses. So that's great, really great. Where did these go? There they are, okay. You can just paint all that stuff, good. Uh, nice, and of course you can see the painted symbol if it's painted or not up there. And then these I can put back in there. I don't know how they got in my inventory to begin with, but do we have everything? Okay, we still need to paint some of those things. Let's go ahead and put those. Wait, why are they not being transferred? I'm sure we have them. Yes, there are some in here. For whatever reason, the sorters are not putting them in. Oh no, they are. They are, they're just making stuff. Hooray, they're making stuff. This is good. <laughs> anyway, um, I would like to paint this steel. Uh, so far, I don't know where to put it. It can possibly go down here, I'm thinking. Maybe we just send it this way. Let's let's leave a space for those green motors when they come around. They might end up on that belt there. Let's just put them all down here. And then here we can, oopsies, go down, 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 down. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah. Okay, get that one deleted there. And I'm gonna go ahead, oh, no, 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 no. Wrong, bad, bad, wrong. Okay, there we go. This is what we want actually. Okay, so then we can put in two more painters here. One is probably going to be for those motors and then of course the other one here. I kind of wish they were in belts because they are very belt oriented, but yeah, we don't have choices right now. Okay, so let's grab this and second level. Again, we'll just put this a little bit further for future expansion and then we'll connect diagonally, nice. Okay, so steel is getting painted now, ish, somewhat. Okay, apparently not. So let's just get it until it is painted. There it goes. Yeah, of course it has to fill up all of those little spaces first. Um, and then, then what do we do? Then I think we go up and over, probably. So I don't know how tall we have to be to get over this, this hump here. Uh, let's find out. Go up. Three, that high, wow, all right. That's our that's our situation here. This is where we're going. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that power pole because apparently that doesn't wanna behave itself. There we go. All right, there we go. And now, of course, we have this additional problem of, oh my God, it's too, it's not going the right height and all this. Okay, go here. Yes, and over. Let's go up one. Hello? No, I wanna, okay, let's go minus one. No, uh, excuse me, I wanna do this. Can I go down one? No, I need to go up one. There we go, right there. Uh, and then this one can probably go here. I have the same height. Now this, of course, is in the wrong spot, as always, golly gee. I, I'm not a fan of myself for missing these these things. We need to have space for two belts here, which of course I have forgotten to include. So, and then we can add these uh, baskets, boxes, whatever we're, we're gonna call them. And let's add back these guys because we don't need this many in our inventory. So this might be a bit of an ask. Um, uh, hmm. especially since we're supposed to go down there with these items. Eh? We can't actually do it if we remove this thing. We might be able to put that underneath. We'll have to see, but let's try this. Let's try to get a sorter from this to the box. And then, oh, this is actually gonna work. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so now we have this stuff going on. I guess we should make some kind of thing that actually makes these things automatically. 43 painters, maybe not needed. Hey, oh, that's kind of nice. That's like really nice. I'm like, wow. Uh, I also want to make, another thing that I do want to make is these uh, oil refineries. 
I have 17 of them, but it looks like we need some other stuff. Let's go and get some of this, these uh, bits of stone. We also need more of these little guys. These fancy little things. Hello. There we go. And I forgot what else. Green chips. Let's go pick up the green chips. Now those are pre-painted already, which is nice. Put those in the box. And of course we can increase our stock of these things by just, you know, you know, adding boxes on top because they can pull from the bottom as well. Okay, so let's put these guys in there. And then we need these as well. So chuck those in. What else? Let's see. Let's make refineries now. I probably should add these to the th to the thing. These are things that are needing, let's see, they need uh, the stone brick and they need the plasma exciter and steel. They're, they're almost like, you know what? Maybe I should have a diversion, like a splitter from the other lines because they need so many different items. The only common thing actually they have is the green chips. So maybe those are going to be built on the other side over here. Maybe we build them here because there's a lot of space over here, which I like. Um, so that's nice. Anyway, let's get, let's delete this and I'm going to, let's see, we can paint them here maybe. I don't know. Let's build some belts here and figure out what we're going to do. Let's build, well, kind of want to leave a little bit of space for that copper mine there or copper node area, I guess. The copper deposit that happened. All right. This thing can go here. Maybe we can have steel coming in the next one. Let's see, steel. How is this functioning here? Maybe what I need to do, can I actually do, I could do a, th oh, I could do a thing here. Yeah, this would be actually perfect. If I do a, a splitter here. Oh, I love doing this. Oh no, it's on the water. <gasps> no, it's on water. Aw. God. Yeah, that's bad. Water be bad. There we go. Oh, cat is yelling. Hello, cat. What do you need? Help. Um, can this do here? Can we do a splitter here? Can we do a splitter there? I don't know. I'm beginning to regret doing any of this on the water. Let's see. Um, we need a this. Yep. Let's do that. Okay, I guess we can only do it there. All right. I love that you can build belts on the water, but it's a little bit problematic when you can't build the splitters and stuff. So let's get these as well. Put that there. Good, good. And chuck those in. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. Behave yourself. Let's go. Good, good. Okay. So now that means we can take this steel over here. Second level, please. And let's take that there. And then third level or no, actually let's go down here to land on the ground, I think. So those are painted. Greens are not painted. No, those are not painted yet. Hold on. Hold on. I, maybe I put painters over here because that, that actually would work quite well if I put the painters here. So let's see if I put, let's get some belts here and go kind of similar. Let's go level. Hello. Hello. Okay. Level that one. Okay. And then we go down. Okay. And then we go here and then this one goes there. And we delete something like this or something just to have space for our painters to happen. Maybe we put the painting here because they're all three aligned. Let's do that. Let's have our painters here. One, two, three. Perfect. Okay. And then we get our level two belts strung in here like this. Uh, which is going to be gonna have a <laughs> a not split off right over here yay okay so we're gonna do we're gonna do the poor man's splitter 
I like this one. It's nice. Hopefully you know of this trick. This is what I should have done with the other things, I think, instead of worrying about actual splitters. It's not necessary at all. Okay, let's put this over there. Like this. And connect. Connect, connect, connect. Okay, good. We got our green motors. The yay is actually real. All right. So now, the only problem we... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! We're still thwarted. Oh, sad times. This is so ridiculous. This is so dumb. Oh, all right. Fine. Fine. You don't want to behave thing? Fine. Urgh. Okay, it's fine. You know what? I can work with this game. This is why it's called the Bash Factory, you know? Because we are bashing things together, whether it wants to be or not. We are going to do it. There we go. Actually, maybe what we do here is instead of doing all that, we do a diagonal. It'll be less less belts because they're really not needed to be straight in squares like this. It's completely unnecessary. Okay, go. Now then, that's going to happen. Let's get our green motors going because that was going to be here. Okay. Green motors. Now then. We want to have those, we want regular motors and also the rings. So the rings are there. The rings are not painted. No, help. Neither are the motors painted, so it doesn't really matter. It'll be fine. I'm just gonna make them. I'm just gonna make them. It's like, oh, we have to get this done. I don't wanna, uh, I don't wanna do this that way. Okay, let's just, Let's just try to deal here. <laughs> it's a bit nuts. I think sometimes it feels a bit nuts, this whole thing. When, uh, you know, you have to like plan and all this. But you know what? It ends up being quite beautiful in a way. All of these like belts inter interacting, interlocking. The 3D feature of all of this is fabulous. We love it. Wait, those look, you know what those look like? Those look like the outputs of the logistics stations. I don't know why we can't connect these. That's strange. Game, you be strange. Why you be this way? Okay, so we are actually losing some some stuff here, which is not ideal. But uh, I'm going to be okay with it for now. Because this is temporary. This mall is just very early game and we can change it later. That is not a problem. Um, okay, there we go. Wanted to have a little bit more ground space there. Okay, so now we're going to get all of these green motors made, hopefully. Hello? Okay, well, we're going to do it differently then. Okay? You don't want to play nice? We're going to do it this way then. Okay, so these need uh, those. What else does it need? Oh, just the rings. Okay, so it's got everything it needs, basically. We're going to output these motors here onto the lines. And this is very, all of this is quite temporary. All of this thing. This is nuts as well, by the way. <laughs> it just feels very, like, lots of stuff, lots of things going on here. Um, and I've completely forgotten what we're doing next. Oh, yes. We were going to make stuff over here. Let's add these guys. Let's finish this. I was going to set up the oil refineries. I think those are crafting currently. I don't know even what is crafting. Hold on. We should go and check. Let's go and check this. Actually, let's start getting some of these painted since we're here. Okay. And go down there and there. Oh, we have no energy. So let's also go down. You can also, you can also grab energy that's been painted. Actually, let me just grab all of that and paint it before I put it in. Actually, I'll put one one stack in. You can have one stack. There you go. Um, and it gives you extra energy. Now, you can paint the paint. However, on level one paint, you use charge one charge to gain one charge. So it really isn't very uh, effective. On higher levels, you may gain two to three charges. So it might be worth it. Uh, but that requires the higher level paint. All right. So how many refineries did we get? Any? We didn't get any steel? What? No, we didn't paint the steel. Darn it. I'm so confused. Where did that steel go? 
Did we not grab enough? I guess we didn't grab enough steel. Okay, let's go get some. I think I was just too worried about pre-painting it or post-painting it or whatever I was doing with it. Uh, let's delete this thingy and we will get do this instead. And we will pre-paint or just paint some of the steel. I think it would be nice to have a box gathering some of that steel too. Okay, so let's go to our painting, painting thingy thingy. And get stuff done. There you go. Now that's going to work nicely. Now we're going to use some of this high energy energy graphite. There we go. And we're going to get a little bit more energy from it, which is nice. Makes it last longer, especially when we're playing on half resources. That's kind of a, kind of a thing that can be a good thing to keep aware of. It's interesting that none of these other splitters are doing anything. I'm fascinated that why are they not working? Like, hello? Uh... Oh, it's because there's stuff stuck in them. That's why. Okay, that's that's fair. Got to clear them out. Make sure they're cleared out. Is there anything else in here? Okay, it's it's just going as fast as possible. That's very nice. All right, four of these are done. Hooray. We are starting to get a little bit low on energy, it seems like. So I should put down a few more wind mines. Let's collect some from the box. Because I think we left a lot on the other planet. But wind mines are really good technology here. Um, we need to have more belts, I think. There we go. Um, and then here, of course, we can shut this down and make less of these. And we can also put some back that we haven't used. In hopes that they will get made into beautiful new green belts. Now, speaking of all the things, I want to, let's see, how many refineries do we have? We had uh, 21. Now, our calculations, remember we did not finish out the entire needed amounts for the red science, and that is right, really why it's going so slowly right now. Let me just check this. Okay. Yeah, you see, we only made six refineries, I think, mostly because we didn't have the oil to supply it. Um, so we need a total of 32 of them. We now have 28 and then we have the six. So that's fine. That's enough. We don't have to wait for any more. Um, and I want to build a few more extractors. Where are those? Here they have them. Oil extractor. Uh, let's go and grab some of these items. I'll just pilfer them from this thing. There we go. And this, okay. So I'm just going to do them myself, even though this is technically a waste of materials, I guess. Let's get, uh, we can only build two. Why? Huh. Okay. Let's grab more of these chips. Extractor. Yes. Six. Sure. Let's build that many. And then I'll put the rest of these materials back in this jar so that, uh, the, the assembler can enjoy them properly. There we go. Okay. Let's go and build that oil thing and get more of this red science production going because right now it does feel like it's going quite slow and I really want to build much more uh, so that we get those proper things going. Now we are kind of getting to that point too where we can start mining the, uh, the gas giant and getting more hydrogen there. There's also x-ray cracking which is very very good and I kind of want to do that uh, to get more uh, hydrogen as well. Are we doing that anytime soon? This is proliferator. This is assembler. This is uh, photon frequencies. No, is that x-ray? No, oh, no, no, no. Where is x-ray cracking? I kind of want to do that like first. It's right here. Okay, let's do that one first. And then we can do the others after uh, because we really don't need anything else. Uh, though we do need this for the proliferator, I think. Um, or maybe not. No, we just need diamonds for that. Okay, cool. So definitely need the diamonds. Photon frequency, crystal smelting. We need that because that's our diamonds before the proliferator. It doesn't make sense to, you know, even work on that until we have that. Let's get titanium. And then we have our logistics systems, but we need the matrix before then. So let's find out where that is on our chart here. Super magnetic rings. 
things? I think it's somewhere here. There it is. Information matrix. That's the wrong one. Matrix, hello. Where are you? Can we do anything here? Thrusters. Okay, we need thrusters. Let's get thrusters. We want to have our logistics system because that's important. Here's thrusters. Okay, good. And then planetary logistics. Hey, I queued it. Hello? No? No, it didn't work. In queue. Now we have it. Good. And then we can queue this up. Good. Very, very good. Now we need the yellow matrix, and I have no idea where that is. Let me look. Okay, ray receiver. I'm looking at, like, the stuff here, and I'm not... Do we have it already? Surely not. Oh, here it is. Structure matrix. Okay, so Q is full. Uh, so right now, our bottleneck is the red science. So I feel like it's time that we actually do something about that. Let us get more belts. Maybe we use the higher end belts for this because they need to carry more stuff. Let's go ahead and upgrade this part of the belt. The other part does not need to be upgraded. So we're going to be try to be a little bit frugal about this, but we are going to need other stuff for sure. Now then let me uh, grab these other thingies. Now it seems like we can do four in a row. And then we need a power pull. So let's put one here. I know there's an easier way to do this. It's like an alt something, something, but I'm just going to do them this way. There we go. There's another four. And then another power pull is needed. Okay. That helps keep all of our thingies in line. Okay. We don't need to fill up the whole thing. It's okay. So let's get some more. Oh. I feel, I feel very strongly that we're going to need some more belts, alas. But at least we can take over the, um, take some wind mines over here, get some power going on. Uh, because we do need extra power right now. We can also set up some solar on the poles. I did bring some solar panels back with me from the other area. And we also have silicon, so we can craft more here if we should want to. Okay. Let's go here and there. Did we run out? No. Good. Okay, cool. How many wind mines do we have still? 110. Okay, so we're not running out in any way, shape, or form. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's really good. Okay, let's get. I like these uh, meridian lines here, they're very nice. You can kind of keep track of where your belts are, where they're going. Okay, let's put in a miner here, an oil miner. We are mining the oil, just like we mine wind. It's a thing. Let's go. There we go. Beautiful. And you go out there. Beautiful. Nice, nice. Okay, and then the next one is going to come up from, like, say, there. Let's take this belt down this way. Sure. Okay, and we're going to need some more wind mines. Go take you this way, and then we'll go like up like that, maybe. I don't know. This is all very random wind mine placement. I'm not really caring so much, though I am putting them in grids because they're just easier to, to deal with a tiny bit. All right, very good, very good. And this is obviously going to help us just uh, take the power upward without needing to build a million power poles. Instead, we'll build a million wind mines. And that's okay. Well, that works. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Okay. No coal, no problem. Okay, what do we get? Generate more than 60 megawatts of electricity on a planet using wind mines. Oh, this is great. Cool. I'm happy about this. Yay. Okay, so good. Good stuff. Good stuff. I think we have... Oh, wow. We have to delete one. Sad times. All right. Another oil mine. Let's go. And these two oil mines... What have we got here? We have 3.1. And then the other one is... I don't know. This one is 2.8. Okay. So that's that's six, basically. Or it's going to be less than six as they work. So that means that we just need to have just a yellow belt will work. We don't even need to do a green belt here unless we add another 
uh, oil mine, which we will. I think there is one more in this area. Yeah, there's two more actually. No, there's many more. There is many, many more. Now for the proper four per second, we need 16 oil per second, which we don't have anywhere near. I think now we have 12. Well, actually we're kind of near, I guess, if you look at it that way, sure. All right, so this thing, and that's why I upgraded this belt first, this green belt here, is so that we can take more along to these oil machines. Now the next ones, probably we need a second belt uh, and maybe what we do is we take an oil machine like these. Let's delete the stuff. We'll put it down here. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. I think this is going to work nicely. If we put another oil belt this away, coming from there, from the other side, like this. And then we have the inputs kind of there as well. So we're going to do an input here. I guess we can use yellow ones. We don't really need anything fancier. The uh, refined oil, the yellow oil goes there. And then here we're going to use the hydrogen. So that works really, really nicely. Hooray. So let's see if we do this. I think there's a, an up or down or alt or is it alt? Uh, alt that? No, 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 no. Help. I'm trying to figure out how you do the, there's a way to make them like go further apart. What is it? Rotate building adjust tab. Oh, it's tab. Jeez. Tab. I want to do four and four, not three and three dudes. All right, let's do four here and then see if we can do another four. No, what's wrong? thingy. Oh, it doesn't like the, yeah. Okay. Well, we're just gonna have to put them manually. I think because of the intervals here, the, I guess it's on the curvature that it, they just not, they're just not fitting. Yeah. They're definitely not fitting here. This is not good. Does not work well at all. No. Okay. I guess it might, I, well, the other, the other option is to just, this is really a big waste of space, I feel. So we're not going to do this. I think we're going to do something different. We're just going to put the buildings and then we might just do uh, manual inserters, which is a pain in the socks, but yeah, it saves us space. So let's see. So here we're just going to do manual ones, I guess. So let's here go. That way, go away. There, input, output there. Okay, that's fine. Input here, output to that one, output to that one. Okay, that's fine. Um, so input here, output there. This one is just like a free for all one. That's funny because most of them are going to be quite strict with what you can put there. So this one is output there, input there, and output over there. There. But I do feel like this is the better choice because I, I kind of want them in a more compact form. Oh, that was bad. That was wrong. No, no, no. I should always do the minimum distance ones or the, I mean the maximum, like this one has a maximum dis. Yep. Never mind. Uh, yeah, let's do just no. <sighs> Sigh. Sometimes it's very frustrating this, this thing. Okay. Let's see inside. So yeah, maximum distance is that one. And here we can do this one. There we go. This one we can do there and there and insert. This one is what? That's yellow. It gets harder at the end here because like you don't have the references anymore because none of these at the end are working. So this one is that one insert and out there. Okay, perfect. Uh, but now we have to figure out the way to fit the power poles in. And uh, that's going to be interesting. 
Oh, it's actually fine. Okay, there are minuscule spaces in between. So one, two, three, four, and we'd go again. One, two, three, four, and here. Okay, so this is actually working quite nicely. Now here we can grab a another. Uh, let's see, it's one, two down from that line. So this line, one, two, and it goes straight across. And this is going to be our second uh, oil line here. And I guess we'll get those from another, from kind of down here. We have several crude oil seeps. Very nice. But unfortunately, we have no more time for today. Um, I, however, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Also, if you're interested in kind of like tragic stories and documentaries like that, check out my other channel. It's called Frozen in Time and it's in the description below. And also I've pinned a comment with the link too. Uh, it's kind of a different thing that I do. And a lot of people are like, oh my God, KOS, you're usually so happy and, and, and joyful. And this is like different. So if you want to experience different KOS, much more serious KOS, check out that channel. So far, I, I so much appreciate your support. Like so many people have just subscribed to the channel and I'm just like hearts to you. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate that. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.